After this winter's extreme cold, a popular tourist draw in southwest Michigan, the lake is colder than normal. As we continue our special weather week reports, WSBT's Denise Bone takes a look at what the cold water temperature means for area businesses. Lake Michigan rarely ices over purely because of its size. But just last month, more than 93% of Lake Michigan was entirely covered in ice. Lake temperatures plunged and getting the water to warm up could take months, leaving many to wonder if summer will be a bummer. With more than 1,600 miles of shoreline and more than 1,100 cubic miles of water, Lake Michigan is the second largest Great Lake. It strongly influences the weather in southwest Michigan. Lake water is slower to warm up than the land, meaning cool air conditions could continue well into May, leading to what could be a sluggish start to the tour season. On a warm, sunny day, as many as 1,500 people visit Kilwins in downtown St. Joseph, enticed by homemade waffle cones, caramel apples, and fudge. Because we've got the um, Blossom Parade coming up this weekend, right? Some so weeks, they, they scoop out 200 tubs worth of ice cream. How worried are you that the we're not going to shake the cold in the wind? Well, I'm not going to even go there. I'm just going to think that we are. It's going to get nice and warm and sunny, and it's going to stay. That optimism has kept Janet Dykstra in business despite weather challenges for 16 years. We're sort of like a farmer. I mean, you just learn. That's, that's how it is. There's not much going on in the river right now. It's not sweet treats, but the thrill of the big catch that keeps Rick Cracklaw's 32-year-old fishing charter business afloat. We can handle fish in the 30-pound class with not a problem. And weather is a key factor for whether his boat, appropriately named Risky Business, ever leaves the dock. People don't want to fish in, in conditions like this. You know, it's just, this is unbearable. But Cracklaw is confident once the air temperature rises, the extra cold lake water will actually make for great fishing. The longer the, the lake stays cold, I think our coho, especially salmon, will stay here on the south end of the lake before they migrate north and, and west. The average lake temperature this time of year is 45 degrees. This water at Waco Beach in Bridgman is registering about 38 degrees. I can tell you it's absolutely freezing. And depending on the wind direction and speed, the lake can turn over very quickly, dropping several degrees in just a matter of hours. The colder, the better for AEP's DC Cook nuclear power plant. Our units are more efficient when the water is colder. The facility pumps one and a half million gallons of lake water per minute into their system to condense steam from the turbines to create electricity. We can swing in the neighborhood of 30 to 40 megawatts uh, from the summer to the winter, um, and, and that's enough to power a small size city. So while some businesses benefit from a frigid mother nature, others are seeking a higher power for some relief. Well, I just pray every day, you know, that God just sent us some beautiful weather and lots of customers. Most of the businesses I talk to that rely on warmer weather say they believe the cold snap will break and things will improve. And they believe this season could end up being one of the best because after the horrible winter everyone endured, they believe people are dying to get out and enjoy the lake, even a cold lake. Reporting from the studio, Denise Bone, WSBT, Channel 22 News. And